Should furries be political? Yes. Okay, so bear with me. Um, furry as a place has and always will be uh, somewhere that the oh-so-scary concept of politics uh, exists. Now, does your primary interest when escaping into the furry space um, have to be on politics and political issues? Um, no, no, it absolutely does not. Now me, um, I'm a weird politics nerd, as it happens, um, so uh, specialising mostly in UK politics, um, I mean, I can't help it. Um, I, I must add, loving politics. Uh, not the same as loving politicians or everything that they stand for, um, not at all. Um, but I'm fascinated by the way the systems work and understanding society. I mean, look at all the graphs and charts and numbers and funny TV clips. I mean, I literally stay up all night drinking on election day like it's New Year's or the Super Bowl or insert big cultural event that you can relate to here. Just me aside, bringing it back to furries, okay? So... No, furry as a place to escape, right, doesn't have to feature political discussions if that's not what you're into, right? But whether you like it or not, furry is political. Unfortunately, that is just a fact. For many of us here, it's not a battle in the marketplace of ideas. Um, it is our very existence which is demonised or even completely denied by entire swathes of the political discourse, okay? Now, you may have gathered by my change in tone here, uh, I'm not talking about denying being a silly little animal, okay? No. 80% um, of furries are identified as being somewhere on the LGBTQ plus range. Now, sadly, in many places for us, this means that for that one side of the political argument, we are wrong. Our right to exist is to be fought against. Now, I'm sorry, but if as part of your political opinion, you're going to stand there and say that I or those that I love should not exist, then I have to stand up to that. Because we're not talking about free market economics or industrial regulations or energy or environmental policy or whether or not to seize the means of production. No, there is not an open debate worth having here, okay? We're talking about the existence of people being actively fought against. Now, in a particularly controversial take, okay, here for many, at the risk of upsetting some of you, the desire to just ignore politics altogether, well, I'm sorry, that's just not good enough. You may not care, you may think it doesn't matter or doesn't affect you, but whether you like it or not, whether you pay attention or not, politics will affect you and it will affect the lives of the people that are around you and the people that you love. Now, if after me saying that, you can still say, oh, well, I don't care. Do you know what? Good for you, okay? I'm happy for you that you can continue to exist in a world and just not worry or not have to worry about who you are being called into question. But for many of us, especially many of us here in this space, we just can't afford to do that. Now, speaking directly um, for a second to my American audience, as I know there are many of you here, after all, you're all just suckers for a British accent, um, your political system is extra crazy, extra broken and stupid and very, very in the news around the world at the moment, okay? I could talk about it for hours, I'm not going to, okay? Sometimes in your system specifically, it can really feel like your vote will not make a difference, but I promise it, it does, okay? Just to hit you with some statistics, and I promise, just bear with me on this one, in 2000, right, the election came down to just 537 votes in Florida as to whether it went for Bush or Al Gore, okay? And in 2020, um, certain people have looked at it, and just 44,000 votes split between Georgia, Arizona, and Wisconsin separated Biden and Trump from a tie in the Electoral College. Sometimes it really can come down to just a few votes, okay? It does matter. It is worth doing. Your vote does matter. Just to kind of bring it back to the title and sort of sum everything up here, um, should furries be political? Uh, you know, truthfully, no. Um, but in the world in which we live, um, it is and it has to be. So for those of you that haven't already, uh, vote. Oh, also, just to add, I was definitely given many, many, many millions of dollars by the uh, Harris Waltz campaign for this video, so uh, thank you, the Democratic Party of America. I'm going to go and buy myself a private island now. <laughs>